In this video, we're going to look at Photoshop. And before we get into the video, I've got to warn you that Photoshop is a huge program. It can do literally thousands of things to photos. So we're not really going to cover too much to do with Photoshop in our videos, but we will be able to get some images and do some cool things to them. What I've done here is gone to a Creative Commons search and search for the Eiffel Tower. I found a really cool picture of the Eiffel Tower that I'm going to use. I'm simply going to right click on the photo and press copy image there. Now you can see that I can use this image free for personal and commercial use. So that's kind of important. So I don't just want to steal somebody's photo. I'm going to go back to Photoshop. I'm going to now click on create new. And one of the cool things of Photoshop is if you've copied a picture from the internet, it already knows and it says that there's something in the clipboard. And that's the perfect size that my Eiffel Tower picture is. I'm going to click on there, press create, and you can see I've got an empty page with nothing in it. If I now simply paste my picture, it will fit perfectly inside that page. And here I have that picture from the website of the Eiffel Tower. Now, before we do anything to this picture, it's worth going through what Photoshop is and what it isn't. So we made some videos on Illustrator and Illustrator is one of those programs where you make posters and you put text in and you can do all those special effects. In Photoshop, you can do all of those things. What you can do in Photoshop that you cannot do in Illustrator is really mess around with photos. If we look on the left hand side, we've got a number of tools. And again, we can't cover all of them in this one video, but we can look at some of the most important ones. Here we have the move tool. We've got the selection tool and we've got the lasso tool, which is three of the tools that we're going to use a lot. Further down, we've got stamps, brushes, erasers, text, and some pen tools, which we're not going to talk about just yet. So what can we do with this photo to start with? Well, number one, we can select things in the photo, for example, using the lasso tool. And just with our mouse, we can draw selections. Now a selection is basically the part of the photo that I want to do something to. So for example, if I take the lasso tool and I just very roughly draw around the Eiffel Tower, now you can see I'm doing this with my mouse and it's not really accurate, but you'll see the point of what I'm doing. So I'm just going to draw very roughly around the Eiffel Tower like this. Now the idea of a selection or a lasso selection is that you join up the start and the end of the selection like this. Now you can see that once I've finished my selection, I'll just zoom in a bit there. You can see that the selection does this kind of moving thing so that you know that something is selected. Now that I've made a selection, I can simply copy this. I can go to my illustrator and I can paste it in and you can see that I've got that picture that I selected in Photoshop now in Illustrator. And that way in Illustrator, I don't have to mess around trying to remove backgrounds. Now you'll agree it's not a perfect way to cut a picture, but for this video, I've done it nice and quickly so that you can see. And also it makes quite a cool effect when you do a cut like this from Photoshop. Now what else can we do with selection tools? That was a lasso tool to make sure that you've got a very accurate outline. We can also go to our selection tools and simply select a rectangle like so. We can copy this, go to our illustrator and paste that in. Again, let me resize that so it fits on the screen like so. And you can see that has a completely different effect. But of course, that's really useful if you just want to cut a small part of a photograph to put into a different project. What else can we do with selection tools? Well, we also have circular selection tools. So for example, we can create circles. Let's just copy and paste that in just to see what it looks like. So you can see how selection tools are really important, especially when we're just doing very quick copies and pastes. Now, one warning about selection tools. So let me go back to my rectangular selection tool and select something. The only way to not select something that is to unselect something is to simply click once outside. So I'll do that again. I've selected something. I might want to move it. I might want to do something else to it. The only way I can get rid of this selection here is to go 
to the selection tools and click outside once and that will get rid or stop the selection. I'll undo that just to put it back and unselect that again. So that was a very quick and simple lesson in how to get a picture off the internet, cut out what you need to and copy and paste it into a different project.